Hi, Craig Hartman for VFDs.com. Today we're going to learn how to program the Mitsubishi High Performance A800 series of variable frequency drive. This is the Mitsubishi A800. That's a high performance drive. It's 480 volts and we have it wired into the wall here and then wired out to a motor. Now this is the DU08 keypad. That's the standard keypad that comes with the drive. And the first thing we need to look at is what is controlling the drive. Right now you can see the light, it's in external mode, which means it would be controlled with dry contacts and analog signals. Net mode would be communications. We're going to put it in the parameter unit mode so that we can control it from the parameter unit. So I push PU external, and we see that it switches to the parameter unit mode. The next thing I'm going to do is push mode until I see this P. That is a programming parameter. I'm going to go down to parameter 1, and there's parameter 1, and I will push set. Parameter 1 is the maximum frequency. So let's set this for 66, or 60. I'll uh, put that down here. The faster you, can, the, you uh, turn the wheel, then the quicker the numbers change. So we'll put that down to about 60 so that it will not go over 60 hertz. That is the maximum frequency. I push set again and it blinks indicating that that has set. The next thing we'll do is go to parameter 2. That is the minimum frequency and it's set now for 19 hertz. Let's change that to 20 hertz. So we'll just go up here to 20 hertz. That way no matter what you tell it, it'll never go slower than 20 hertz. So we get that on 20, we press set, it blinks, it's now set. Parameter 3 is your frequency. That's set for 60 hertz and that is correct for this application. So we'll leave that where it is. Next thing I'll go to the parameters and I'll go up here to parameter 7 by turning the wheel. This is my acceleration time. We push set, it's set for 24 seconds. Let's reduce that down to about 16 seconds. So I'll put that at 16 seconds. I press set and our acceleration time is now 16 seconds. It will go from zero to full speed in 16 seconds. I push set again, it goes to parameter eight. Parameter eight is my deceleration time. That's set for 24 seconds. Let's move that out to 36 seconds. Press set again and it takes that number. Now we go to parameter 9. Parameter 9 is the motor full load amps. So you look on the motor nameplate and let's say the motor full load amps is 1.7. So we'll put that down to 1.7 right there and then we will set that. It's now 1.7 amps. The next thing we'll go to is parameter 19. Parameter 19 is our base frequency voltage. In other words, the voltage of the motor nameplate. I press set and it is set for the default of 999. I'm going to set this down to 460 volts, which is the motor that I have hooked up to this drive. So we go down here to 458, 459, and 460, press set, and it is now set for 460 volts. And finally, we want to go to parameter 14. 14 tells us whether that's a constant or a variable frequency drive, and in this case, it's set for variable frequency drive. I'm going to change that to zero, which puts it in constant torque mode, and set that. There we go, now with the mode, we simply put it back to zero. I turn this wheel to whatever speed I want to go to. I'll just set that for 45 hertz. Press set. I've now set that for 45 hertz. And when I press run, you may be able to hear the motor start and it will ramp up in a period of 16 seconds to the speed that we have set. If we want to stop, we simply press stop. So there it is, very simply, programming of the A800 Mitsubishi series drives. Check out our other educational videos on YouTube or call one of our knowledgeable sales associates to see our extensive line of VFDs and accessories.